So, what was your response? I had the faintest idea what to say. Paul, you could have told him anything. It doesn't matter. How will that provide any long-term benefit? Keeping track of lies will be a costly venture. What makes a lie are its intentions. We can only communicate our perspective of reality. With that being said, can you tell me a being without bias? What has you on edge? I trust in your leadership, but there are too many flaws in this operation. Were you aware of Beast using his students to eradicate my existence? Are you afraid of mere children? First you worrying about sharing your truth to them. Now you worrying about them being assassins? Far be it from me to cower over fodder. When an interloper chooses to attack the leader, it's as if they attack everyone under my influence. When the time comes around, what good are souls fighting against themselves merely based on which school they were influenced under? You and I know this game far too well. War never changes. I have no clue what you'd expect bringing order to those who seek to exist and abide by their own rules. The only unity we have is away from God. So, you wish to influence the masses with deceit? Excuse me, your truth. Can you tell me a being that drives on either logic or emotion alone? Truths are how everyone makes sense of anything. Beast students fear him because they're memories of self-preservation. They respect his strength enough to believe that you're the weakest link. Most importantly, they took his advice on how to get to heaven. By attacking you, that bastard shall reap what he sows. Knock it off, Paul. I beg your pardon. You guide your students your way, and let the other vice principals do it their way. My theory is the more rigid a structure is, the more it'll be viable to fall apart. It's because we share a common goal. I don't worry about every VP getting to the destination their own way. You cannot believe every method is equal. You, of all people, should know. And I do. Tell me, Paul. Would Beast be your first pick for academic leadership? No, of course not. Because I intend to play to every individual's strength to lead to my enemy's downfall. I understand. Listen, I will admit what happened was unexpected. But since you've arranged this meeting with fears of failure, surely you can make some sense of this chaos and turn it into a positive for your school. Dealing with the students are out of my hands. Excuse me. That was the deal. I looked over the vice principals, who looked over the teachers, who looked over the students. I wasn't a fan of the teachers, to be honest. They were variables that were more or less loyal. I'm sure there was a point was made with them. So you intended for certain schools to fall into pandemonium? It's not my intention, but so be it. I can only know what I have control over and use it to my advantage. <laughs>